Hello and welcome to Ticks and Trips with me, Mr. Humbledink. How to become offensive when your back's against the fence. How many times have you been in this position where your opponent's kneeing you, they're elbowing you, they've got you against the fence, and they're chipping away at your body health overall? I'm going to show you how to eradicate that, especially if they're being offensive with their striking. Hit the like and subscribe button, it helps me out tremendously. Um, let's jump into it. So, I'm going to control Usman right now with recording in training, and I'm going to knee the body of Tony Ferguson. I'm then going to play back with Tony Ferguson and defend against it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm holding the RT button which holds the bicep of your opponent so they can't elbow, elbow you. I'm then kneeing my opponent continuously and that stops them from kneeing me, right? As soon as I want to get out and I feel my opponent's going to knee me, I'm then holding low block which is L2, R2 or LT, RT and I'm circling towards their unhook on the far side. They're going to want to knee me because my stamina's low, so they're going to feel the need to knee me, so usually they do. 90% of the time these people do. Um, but you're going to get 10 shots off before they do that. You're going to get a cumulative amount of damage. And you're going to make them want to disengage from you. This is a super offensive position if you're already attacking the body. So if the if you're during the fight you're a body you're a body tickler, I like to, some people like to call it. Um, and you like to attack the body. Then this sort of style is going to help you out over the long run of a fight. So it's going to just take away over their overall health of their, their body eventually. And someone someone did this to me called Ed Parker. I know a lot of people know Ed Parker. He did this to me a while back when I had him against the fence. And he completely threw me off. And then from then I've started doing it to other people. But it takes 42 strikes to get the body to flash. Which is insane. That's four times you need to do that. Because you get about 10 strikes on each one. And then also it takes 62 strikes to actually finish your opponent from there. Because it takes so much damage. Uh, so much health of the overall body health which again is absolutely insane so a super offensive position a, a position that can do so much damage during the fight a course of a fight now there is ways to defend against it if someone's doing it to you you can take the back um, and get into this position here you can drag them to the back sit in you can do a turn takedown you can also jump on that jump on that back um, that back pack and, and pull them down to the ground you can't stay in that position and try and knee that's the key the other option you've got is if you're if you're a grappler like tony ferguson or someone like that you can go for the standing guillotine so you've got to be careful you can't do this all the time you can't do it against great people but it will help you get some damage off thank you for watching please like and subscribe as always if this was helpful for you um, i appreciate the support as always bye